Trinity exposed number 31. Father or Son at the second coming? Who is it that comes back? Most people would say, well, we th know about the second coming of Christ. Second coming of Christ, that's a major Bible doctrine. But does the Bible ever say that God the Father comes back? Hmm. Matthew chapter 21, verse 33 through 42. Hear another parable. This is Jesus speaking here, too, in this passage. Hear another parable. There was a certain householder which planted a vineyard and hedged it round about and digged a wine press in it and built a tower and let it out to husbandmen and went into a far country. And when the time of the fruits drew near, he sent his servants to the husbandmen that they might receive the fruits of it. And the husbandmen took his servants and beat one and killed another and stoned another. Again he sent other servants more than the first, and they did unto them likewise. But last of all, he sent unto them his son, saying, They will reverence my son. But when the husbandmen saw the son, they said among themselves, This is the heir. Come, and let us, come, let us kill him, and let us seize on his inheritance. And they caught him, and cast him out of the vineyard, and slew him. When the Lord thereof, therefore of the vineyard cometh, what will he do unto those husbandmen? They say unto him, He will miserably destroy those wicked men, and will let out his vineyard unto other husbandmen, which shall render him the fruits in their seasons. Jesus saith unto them, Did ye never read in the scriptures the stone which the builders rejected, the same as become the head of the corner? This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. Wait a second. The householder here, likened to God the Father, has a vineyard there, the nation of Israel, that was promised, the land that was promised to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The Abrahamic covenant, in other words. And the Lord says, okay, I'm going to let this out to husbandmen, the Jews there, and you can come on in and things and, and whatever. And now the, it's time to bear the fruit there. And he sends some servants, the prophets in the Old Testament, and the Jews killed them. The people in Israel killed them. They were wicked. They were going after other gods and things. So the Lord says, okay, I'll send you more prophets. And he sends them more prophets. And they kill them. And finally he says, okay, I'm going to send my son down. The Lord Jesus Christ, I'm going to send him down. And what do they do? Take him outside of the city and kill him. Crucify him, give him a Roman crucifixion. But who comes back? The Lord thereof of the vineyard cometh. In context, it's talking about the Father. Hmm. And Jesus is the one speaking this. That's interesting. Psalm 118, verse 22. The stone which the builders refused has become the head of the headstone of the corner. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. Jesus was quoting this when he was speaking there in Matthew chapter 21. This is the day which the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Save now, I beseech thee, O Lord. O Lord, I beseech thee, send now prosperity. Blessed be he that cometh in the name of the Lord. We have blessed you out of... Out of the house of the Lord, God is the Lord, which hath showed us light, bind the sacrifice with cords, even unto the horns of the altar. Thou art my God, and I will praise thee. Thou art my God, I will exalt thee. O give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. God the Father is called the Lord in the Old Testament, and in the New Testament, Jesus is called the Lord. I wonder why that would be. Maybe because they're one and the same being. Just maybe. Acts chapter 4, verse 10 through 12. Be it known unto you all and to all the people of Israel that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom ye crucified, whom God raised from the dead, even by him doth this man stand here before you whole. This is the stone which was set at naught of you builders, which has become the head of the corner. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. Hmm. So the second coming is Jesus Christ, but yet it's the Father. Huh. Jesus talks about it being the Father coming back. They killed the Son, and the Lord of the, you know, householder there, the, the Lord, comes back. And he refers back to the book of Psalm 118, Psalm 118 there, and he's talk, where it's talking about the Lord, God, the Lord, the Lord. Hmm. 
you might want to get straightened out on this whole thing. It's very, very important.